Hello Realm Walkers, I'm Queen Bee and like many others I've been having a blast playing Nightingale over the last few days. And there's a lot that I wish that I knew when I started, particularly about recruits. If like me you found yourself believing your recruit to be useless and broken and resorted to hitting him or her with an axe out of frustration, or if you just want to know more about how best to use and abuse your recruit, this tutorial is for you. It's a very brief tutorial tips and tricks video covering everything you need to know about recruits in Nightingale. But if you spot anything I haven't covered, please pop your tips in the comment section and if you find this video helpful, give it a like and consider subbing to the channel. Once you've completed your basic tutorial with Puck, he invites you to choose your Abeyance Realm. Now your Abeyance Realm is where your home base is, a place of minimal risk and it's also where you're going to find your initial trader. There you can buy your basic recipes, but you can also recruit a helpful companion. To recruit your companion, you need to speak to them first and they will request your help with a build task. Now this task is to complete three camp bed blueprints and a campfire blueprint. Once completed, speak to the recruit again and you can hire them. It does not cost anything to hire them and once hired, they'll remain with you until you fire them. There's many other recruits that you can recruit later. You'll find similar assist tasks, uh, be it building or defending, that once completed allow you to recruit NPCs, but beware, you must talk to them and accept the task before you actually help. For example, if you complete a blueprint for a build task before speaking to the NPC and accepting the build task, it will not show as completed, but once completed you can then talk to the NPC again and you'll have the option of recruiting them, but note you can only recruit one person at a time, so you are going to have to fire your recruit before hiring another. Once you've recruited your NPC, he or she will help you fight, gather and build, but there are a number of things that you want to know about these recruits. Your recruit comes to you fully clothed, in basic clothes with a basic tool. I think mine came with a pickaxe. I can't be certain and I'm unsure if starting tools are randomised, but I think they always come with a pickaxe. Your recruit initially begins to collect whatever resources they can harvest with the tool that they have. For obvious example, a pick would yield stone. Leave your recruit with this tool and they'll continue to mine that resource. But if you want your recruit to switch the task that they're doing, for example, you want them to stop gathering stone and start gathering wood, you're going to have to give them an axe. But simply removing one tool from the NPC's inventory and replacing it with another doesn't suffice. It's going to result in the most frustrating experience of wanting to fire or blatantly kill your NPC. Suddenly, they won't resource gather or fight, they will just stand there cowering like a lame duck. What you need to do is right click on the new item and select equip. This goes for any new tool or clothing that you place in their inventory slots. And I know it sounds obvious, but there are so many people, including myself, who've struggled with this, which is the one reason that, that I started thinking about doing a recruit tutorial. Recruits will also help with building and crafting requirements. For example, if you build your blueprint for your house, say with wood foundations and give them an ax and equip it, they'll just start chopping trees and automatically place the wood in your blueprints. Similarly, they're gonna feed wood into your fire and other items from your inventory into your blueprints. Just beware, when you start to progress and you go to future realms, for example, you start to get different tiered items. So you could start getting tier one wood or, 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 and so on. You want to be sure that what they're using in your blueprints for things like to feed into your campfire and blueprints for your building aren't that precious wood, that it's just the basic wood. So just do check their inventory when you come back through a portal. If you're exploring and resource gathering, you want to have your recruit round. When it comes to inventory, you and your recruit mix in different circles. Now, you have a much larger number of inventory slots, but you're limited by carry weight. Whereas recruits only have 15 inventory slots, but they have no weight restriction. Put it simply, your recruit is a beast of a pack mule and your character can carry a fraction of what your recruit can. So make sure that when you're out and about, you transfer stacks of all of your most weighty items, stone gems, ores, wood and so on over to your pack mule to help with your carrying and gathering. If you're going into a fight your recruit is a handy guy to have around. 
As long as you remember to give them a weapon and equip it. Now, to start with, just like you, any tool can be a weapon. So a pickaxe, an axe, and so on. And they can help you slay your foe. They heal you when you've fallen. And they can even act as a bit of a meat shield for you if you need to make a dash to safer areas to gain some space and heal yourself. But be sure that as you progress through the difficulties, you upgrade your recruits as you upgrade yourself. Upgrade their tools and their clothes. Now you can either do this by upgrading yourself and give them your hand-me-downs or by crafting them the same level gear as your character. This is going to ensure that they will continue to be useful to you as the round difficulties increase and they won't hit the deck on those harder boss fights. Although if they do falter, they can always be revived by you. So that's pretty much my hints and tips and tricks tutorial everything i know about recruits in nightingale i hope you found this helpful if you've got any comments or tips of your own pop them in the comment section i hope it's given you the opportunity to see how useful recruits can be once you know how to use them keep an eye out for more tutorials on nightingale and if you have enjoyed this consider liking and subbing to the channel until next time guys stay safe and take care